Okay, this is the uh, current version of Maternal Robots. Just survived the uh, Corvallis Maker Fair at OSU. Um, so in general, it's got two stepper motors, which you use to uh, pivot over the center of axis with the pen is. So I use a uh, servo to raise and lower the pen um, on a little collar there. And let's give it a little demo here. So I've got some firmware that I've written for the, the Maker Fair that runs through a couple of different um, things here. Uh, kind of geared towards uh, just drawing out a, a quick picture. So when the uh, kids come through at the Maker Fair, we ask them to pick a color out and then the robot draws them a picture. So this robot is uh, designed for a two-day workshop for high school age kids. Um, they get to uh, assemble the electronics learn how to solder, they do uh, mechanical, assembling the chassis and learning how to design in 3D and then they learn some computer science where they have to learn how to program it. Um, so we're using turtle graphics which are basically uh, moving forward or backward to distance and turning a uh, angle and then by combining these into functions and routines we can get it to make some pretty cool um, graphical output. And so the hope is we, you know, expose them to a number of engineering fields and uh, help them find some interest, spark their curiosity, and uh, get them interested in STEM-related projects. So these stepper motors are fairly inexpensive, and uh, they have some gear lash and uh, slop in them. So it's hard to get them extremely accurate, but it is possible to get them accurate enough to do some interesting stuff, like being able to. Uh, spell things out. Um, the robot will also gradually uh, accumulate errors uh, because of rounding um, steppers step in certain uh, positions and if you're uh, trying to get to a certain angle it may or may not be able to get exactly to that angle. So there's some mass rounding errors at all but as you can see um, in general, when we when we build a turtle, we measure the the wheelbase and the wheel diameter, and those parameters are entered, and then you can have it run uh, some squares uh, consecutively to see uh, where the errors are at, and you can dial it in pretty closely. Okay, additionally we've got some uh, infrared emitters and detectors on the front and so you can uh, teach them how to do obstacle avoidance. Um, it's possible and some other people have done uh, like line following or adding a sonar module to this so if you uh, have the desire feel free to hack them to do what you want. The, uh, yeah, it's kind of a final uh, part to this. Uh, I've got a template for these little name tags on Tinkercad and so uh, if you have access to a 3D printer your students can uh, design and name their robot and then you can print it off and uh, have it on the thing. So it's a, it's a way to teach a little bit of 3D printing, help bring home the whole lesson about how all these uh, parts are 3D printed and then uh, give them a way to customize it as well. So. Well, thanks for watching.